Look at that. Look at that thing. Did your tripod do that? Didn't think so. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, welcome, it's nice to meet you. If you could do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification button too, because if you're a new photographer, I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews on gear that I feel is beneficial for that particular photographer, because a lot of times photographers don't start with a bunch of money for the top gear. I know I didn't. And so I was always trying to find reasonably priced items that could still get the job done. And I've got quite a few of those items and I'm gonna start picking through them and giving my two cents on them. I hope you can find some value in that. What's up guys? Today I wanna to go over something that I feel like everybody needs, every photographer, especially every new photographer when you're trying to get some still shots, and that's tripod. Now I know when you're looking at tripods online or if you're looking at what your favorite photographer is using, they're using super expensive tripods that just seem ridiculous. Hundreds of dollars for a tripod, which is a reason for that. It's, it's the material that they're using, they're super lightweight, they're super compact, and they don't move. You can set them and they will not settle, they will not twist, they will not move, they will, they will stay exactly where you left them so that you can get that long exposure or that super, super sharp still image. Today, I wanted to go over my favorite tripod, at least for the price. It's one that I've used for a very long time. I actually have a couple of them for the fact that they're cheap and they serve their purpose. The Amazon Basics 60 inch tripod. Now there's a couple reasons why I went for this tripod when I first got into photography. A, it had 30,000 plus reviews, which is pretty good on Amazon, but it was also the price. Now, I know prices and everything, you get what you pay for, but I was pleasantly surprised by what this tripod was able to do for me. Now keep in mind, this is a $25 tripod for a DSLR, or really any camera, honestly. So it's not gonna have all the bells and whistles. It's not super compact, uh, but it's not bad. For 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. But regardless, we'll talk about it a little bit, and I'll give you the pros and the cons that I've come across while using this thing. As far as pros go, there's enough of them to make me wanna buy another one. And I have multiple of these. They're lightweight for what they are. I mean, I think they're just an aluminum body with some plastic, but they're super lightweight. I think this thing probably weighs about three pounds, I think is what the website says, which isn't bad. For a 60 inch tripod, it's not bad at all. And with 60 inch, I mean, you're not stuck at 60 inch, obviously. The thing does slide out, just like that, right? It will extend up from 25 inch all the way to 60 inch. Now with 60 inch, you have to be a little bit careful. I'll show you here. So the 60 inch means that this will crank up when you have the legs fully extended, like so. Yeah, all those extendos. Then you crank this all the way up, you'll hit your 60 inch tripod. Now the issue that I ran into when trying to extend that is this gets a little bit squirrely at the top. It's not super sturdy. So if you're trying to do a long exposure and your ground's not super solid, you're gonna have a little bit of motion blur in there just because it's not super solid. But if you wanted to get your tripod up to the top for like a fast shutter speed, it still, it'll do it, it'll do it. Um, another thing that I've used this for is I've been able to extend it if I needed to get like a super high shot for like video or something. You can extend this out and you'll have a 60 inch reach wherever you need to go. Another nice thing that this tripod does have is its quick release plate. Now, if you look at it, you'll actually see that it is plastic. It is not the best built thing in the world, but it works. It'll serve its purpose for you. It is plastic with a little rubber piece on there, uh, but it is quick release. I've never had an issue with it not going in or coming out, um, but again, it is all plastic. 
take it for what it's worth. I haven't had any issues with it, but it's not, it's again, it's a $25 Amazon Basics tripod. With the quick release plate, um, it's a good size surface. I know some of the smaller tripods I've seen where their plate is actually super tiny and it really doesn't have a whole lot of contact with your camera, so it allows it to move around a little bit. With this, if I screw it down from all the screw on the bottom and with this little rubber piece, I have no problems with this thing twisting or coming loose or anything like that. I've never had an issue with it. Uh, in fact, I've went weeks before with this plate still attached to the camera because I'm doing product photography and I'm constantly going back to the tripod, uh, back to the desk, back and forth, and this quick release just makes it super simple. The next thing that I think super great about this tripod, again, $25 tripod. You can't go wrong with this thing is the swivel on here. So you've got three axes here. You can swivel, let's see here, undo that. You've got this swivel right here. You got this swivel right here. And you've got this swivel right here. So the way this thing works is pretty well. Now, again, back to the construction of the tripod itself is it's made out of plastic and with that being said that you can't expect a whole lot of quality with it i guess uh, but again i have i've tightened this thing down i've used it for all kinds of different stuff and i haven't broken any of the uh any of the little screw on pieces that go with it. Um, everything's still intact. I've used this thing a lot. I've dropped it, um, been in a hurry with it where you're just tightening things down super quickly and yeah, it'll hold. Like there's no problem with that. The other nice thing about it when it comes to balancing the camera, it actually has two bubble levels incorporated into the tripod itself. So you're gonna have one on your base plate right there. And you're also gonna have one at the top right there. That way you can easily balance your tripod no matter what your terrain looks like. You can get a better idea and you're not just eyeballing it. And the bubbles are accurate and they work. I use them quite a bit actually because obviously when you're looking at the adjustments on the bottom, they just slide. Right? So there's no way to know, unless you're measuring, to make sure that those are the same. You don't need to do that, just look at the bubbles at the top. Or a lot of DSLRs will actually have a in-screen leveler. It'll tell you how your camera's sitting, but this is just quick, it's easy. You don't, even have, to, you don't have to have the camera on for it. It's just right there, and it works. It's a bubble, can't mess it up. And again, this is $25. You can't go wrong with $25. I would say everybody, even if you can afford a $300, $400 tripod, you should still have one of these just to keep around. I use this thing for so many things. I use it with it being 60 inches, it gets up pretty tall. So I'll use it for a uh, flash, like an off camera flash. If I'm running something like slave mode or something like that or I'll use it for an actual, I've used it for like a laptop stand that I have that I'll attach to the top. And that way if I'm shooting tethered, I can easily pop this out. Um, the other nice thing is if I have a couple of these at a shoot, um, I don't have to worry about losing them or forgetting them. If I lost one of these or I left one on set, it's $25. I'm not at $400. So again, I just, I would recommend one of these for everybody. Whether you're a serious photographer, or if you are a beginner, or whatever the case is, I recommend these. And of course, with every good thing, there are some bad things. Although there's not a lot of bad things with this, I've actually been able to use this particular tripod for most everything that I've ever needed a tripod for. There are a few disadvantages to buying a cheaper tripod. Uh, my biggest issue that I've had with this particular tripod is the fact that it is, the tolerances, I guess, if that's what you wanna call it, aren't that great, so it's not super tight. 
Um, and the issue that I've ran into if I'm doing like a long exposure, uh, I'll put some examples up over the video where I do a lot of light painting of vehicles and stuff like that, which require you to take multiple exposures and the camera can't move. The camera has to stay in the exact same position exposure after exposure. That way in post you can line everything up and they look the same. Now, I know how this particular tripod works, so all I do is after I get my camera set on there and positioned where I want it, I will make sure that I have everything tightened down as much as possible and I will let it sit for a couple minutes because what happens is after you adjust it, it may settle itself just a little bit and it'll untwist itself if that makes sense because it's not super solid. So if you set it in one position, it might settle to the left just a little bit, which could throw off your second or third exposure when you're doing those light paintings like I'm showing right now. The other nice thing about the $25 Amazon Basic tripod is that it does come with a case. Now everything that comes with the case has to be good, right? It's not always the case, actually. But it does come with a little case. Um, and it's actually a pretty good case. I've had some cases that come with products and they rip and the zippers break and everything else. This thing has been through hell with me. I have used these cases. I'll sling them over my back and I do a lot of light painting, for instance, uh, my motorcycle and stuff like that. And when I do that, I throw everything on my back. My camera bag goes on my back. This, in this bag, slings over my back and away we go. So. It's been good for up to certain speeds, and it's perfectly fine. I, you know, it's just an added bonus. It's, the bag didn't sell me on the tripod, but it is an added bonus, and I think that anybody could probably use this. But anyway, yes, I would highly recommend everybody buying the Amazon Basics tripod. This one is the 60 inch version, which is $25.99 on Amazon. 30,000 plus reviews, um, and I think it has like a four star rating or something like that. Again, you can't go wrong, it's just nice to have them around. Just to have for whatever, a rainy day, I don't care, whatever. Buy an expensive one and use it for whatever. The, there's a reason why the $400 tripods are $400. There's a reason for that, and I'm not discounting them at all. All I'm saying is that for a beginner photographer or somebody who just doesn't have the money for the more expensive ones, don't be afraid to pick this one up. And if you do have the money and you're just looking for a throwaway or something that you can just, you don't have to worry about, again, grab one of these. It's amazing. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I just wanted to show you guys this particular tripod. I know a lot of people have it. There's a lot of good stuff out there about it already, but I wanna give you my input on it and yes, I would absolutely recommend this to new photographers, old photographers, seasoned photographers, all photographers. I'll probably buy another one after this video.